Welcome back to the Yes Fitness Longevity Podcast, where we give you insight on it and how to get fit, feel younger, and live better. I hope everyone had a wonderful holiday weekend. They were all full and enjoyed that those Thanksgiving dinners. I know I did. I have a tendency to get full faster because I eat smaller meals throughout the day. And with Thanksgiving right smack in the middle of the day, I'm typically not used to eating that many calories, or that much food. So usually have dinner about 2 o'clock, get done with 3, had a little bit of um, dessert at 4, 4.30, and then that was it. You know, I had some breakfast and – that was it for my day. So a little bit different. Felt a little full, a little stuffed. You know, a feeling that you really don't like to feel. Um, but enjoyed all the food. And I got back to my normal eating pattern on Friday. And here we are today on Tuesday night. So what I thought I might do is, you know, people get very concerned with their weight gain, uh, the fat gain between Thanksgiving and New Year's Day. It's a crazy time of the year. A lot of functions going on, parties, uh, goodies coming into work. People um, have a tendency to be on the go a little bit more, so they don't stick with their normal eating patterns. They get into some bad habits and they grab some foods that they don't normally eat. And before you know it, it's January 1st. They don't feel good. They feel tired. They feel bloated. Pants don't fit. Um, just that short period of time. There's different statistics that say how much people average weight gain is. I've heard two pounds. I've heard five pounds. I've heard as much as 10 pounds between um, the holidays. Here or there, whatever the weight gain is, um, let's see if we can't give you some ideas and some tips on how to minimize that or, or stop it completely. <clears throat> so I got a little list here today. I want to make sure I don't miss anything. I have some notes. So the first thing we want to do is that we want to prepare ahead of time. You want to try to avoid eating a lot of calories at these functions. So make sure that you are not um, saving your calories. Don't save your calories for this special event. Think about it ahead of time. And if you are going to go to someone's house or to a party, offer to bring some food. Then you can bring some foods that you'll be more likely to want to eat. So this way you're prepared when you get there. And you'll have some food choices that you know are better for you rather than just getting in there and saying, okay, well, I'm on the run. I'm going to go to this event. I'm going to go to this party. I'm going to go to this you know, social event something for work, and just dive right in. So make sure that, you know, when you do get there, you want to try to eat some of the lighter foods, some grains, some fruits. Um, and like I said, bring a healthy dish with you. You'll be less likely to eat the poor foods if some of the better food choices are there for you to choose from. The second thing I want to talk about is, don't arrive to the event hungry if you can. This is a little bit also being planning is if you save your calories and you don't eat all day long and then you get to that function, you decide, okay, well, now I'm going to eat. You're likely to binge and overeat because the food selection probably is not as good as the food selection may have, went out, may have made throughout the day. So... If you go there hungry, you're going to eat quickly. And we know it takes 20 minutes for your stomach to tell your brain it's full. So there you're going to overeat. You're going to grab foods that you don't normally eat because you're hungry. So you're going to grab whatever you can, whatever the easiest thing is to eat. You're going to probably grab some foods that are a little bit higher calorie than you might want to have. So a key is to make sure that you don't go to the event hungry. If it's at a time where it just doesn't fit in well with your normal eating pattern, have a snack. Have a snack before you head in there. Drink plenty of water. This way you've kind of curbed that appetite, curbed that urge to really get in there and eat. And then you can, you know, really 
have a better ability to choose the foods that you want to eat rather than going there and just binge eat because you're starving and hungry. As we get around to the holiday season, let's eat some of the foods that are holiday favorites. Choose those foods that you don't normally eat. At Thanksgiving, it's one of the only times of the year that I have mashed potatoes and gravy. So I go ahead and have that because I don't really have mashed potatoes and gravy throughout the year. So I enjoy that. But I'm not going to choose some foods that I eat all the time. So choose some food, some candies, some cakes, some pies, some desserts that you don't normally have. If you don't normally have pumpkin pie throughout the year, make sure you have a pumpkin pie at Thanksgiving or at Christmas. There are going to be some candies and cookies that you don't normally have. So if there's a tray of cookies there, let's not eat chocolate chip cookies because you can have chocolate chip cookies any time of the year. Let's eat some cookies that are specific to that holiday. That's how you want to try to you know curb some of the extra calories that you might not necessarily need to eat. So let's eat some foods that you enjoy, some foods that you don't normally have, some foods that are special for that event and for that day. Eat them slowly, enjoy them, have no guilt, and enjoy your event. Another thing that you can do if you're, if you're doing a lot of baking, do some healthy swaps. So what a healthy swap means that if you're baking and you normally use, let's say, mashed potatoes. Maybe use cauliflower for your mashed potatoes. Sorry, I had a little, little disconnect in my brain there. So let's try to swap some things out, make some substitutions. Maybe use skin milk instead of 1% or 2% in the recipe. Let's possibly have some Greek yogurt, okay, instead of sour cream. Like I said, cauliflower instead of mashed potatoes. Uh, maybe puree some low-fat cottage cheese for cream cheese, or maybe even puree some fruit for sugar. This will help lower some of the calories. It'll be delicious, you won't be able to taste the difference. And you'll be able to use those calories somewhere else. Or maybe you'll be able to come in on your day's caloric intake for that amount. But just think about substituting some things in your recipes that will help you to lower the caloric intake. And on the other hand, if you do bake and you don't make any of those substitutions, know that. Enjoy the meal. Don't feel any guilt. And move on to the next day. During this time of the year, you don't want to try to diet. It's one of the most difficult times of the year to diet. Between these holidays, there's just too many obstacles for you to overcome. So don't try and diet during this time of the year. Try to maintain. Try to maintain all that good work that you've done the other 11 months out of the year. Try to maintain that body composition. Try to maintain the fat level that you have on your body. If you try to go into this time of the year and you're on a very strict diet and you go off that diet, you are likely to just tumble along and really make a mess of what you've done. Really do a lot of binge eating. Really undo all that hard work that you've done because it's difficult to stay committed to a strict diet at this time of the year. So don't try to diet. You really should never really try to diet. You really should just try to maintain an eating pattern that will help you keep your caloric intake in line with your caloric expenditure and one that you're able to maintain for a long period of time. But if you are trying to reduce a little bit, this is not the time of the year. Try to maintain. Controlling your portions, make sure you keep continuing to get your regular exercise, regular exercise and making good food choices. And that will help you get through these holidays. And on January 1, you'll be the same that you were on Thanksgiving morning, and that will make you happy. Alcohol is a big thing this time of year, bigger than normal. There's more alcohol around all events, all kinds of alcohol. You know, let's consider alcohol like a cupcake. I mean, really, it's just a treat, it's just a bunch of sugar. You know, like in everything else, alcohol is moderation. You want to try to have water in between each drink so you don't get dehydrated. Let's think about our portion sizes. 
non-alcohol beers, about 12 ounces, or regular beers, eight ounces, four ounces of wine, one and a half ounces of hard alcohol. And let's just try to keep it in moderation. Let's not overdo it. Pick the events that you want to have a drink at. Maybe have a drink that you don't normally have and enjoy it. Don't just mindlessly stand there and drink and drink and drink and just have a drink. Let's enjoy the drink that we're having. Let's taste it. And let's make sure that we keep it in moderation. And always, no drinking and driving, right? Let's drive safe. Another thing, this time of the year is very challenging to stay active. Very difficult time of the year to be active. There is just all kinds of things going on. On top of all the shopping that we do, and the extra baking that we do, and the extra parties that we go to, and the extra events that we go to, the, the time just is crunched for these next four or five weeks, more than any other time of the year. Just crunched. You need to plan your exercise. You need to stay on your plan. Maybe you need to cut back just a little bit. Maybe there's one or two workouts you can't get to that you normally get to. But put exercise in your plan. So when you sit down and you look at your week on Sunday, think about, hey, I'm going to get out. I'm going to exercise. And maybe I need to adjust my schedule. Maybe I need to start working out in the morning just for this time of the year so that at the other end of the day, I don't get caught up in things that will deter me from getting to the gym. Because you got to run to the store or you got to go run, meet some people. you got to go to some party. So let's get our exercise out of the way. Let's try to get it done in the mornings. This way we don't have an excuse. If you get that exercise done in the morning, you are going to feel better all day long. You're going to enjoy yourself for that day. You're going to have more energy. You're going to be more alert. You're not going to feel as guilty if you have something to eat. It's just all kinds of pluses. Getting that workout in in the morning rather than missing it because of the crazy stuff that goes on this time of year. Out of sight, out of mind. Let's try to keep all the goodies out of sight. <laughs> There's just all kinds of things that are brought in between donuts, cookies, cakes, candy, stuff that I can't even imagine get brought into these holiday parties. And they're laying around all over the decks all the time or they're laid in one particular area in the lunchroom. There's no need for that stuff to be out on the desk. There's no need stuff that be out in the lunchroom. You can just, you're okay. <laughs> you're good. <laughs> it's just somebody walking by. Uh, there's no need for all that stuff to be out. And then if you have it at your house, put it away. Get it in a container. Get it in the cabinet. Get it in the refrigerator. Put it in the back. Put it in the freezer. If you have a ton of cookies, freeze those cookies to a later date. If it's out, you're going to pick. And you're not going to have the willpower not to eat that. It's, it's just too challenging. And once you have one, you're probably going to have two. So don't tempt yourself. Put it away. Give it to the, the soup kitchen. Uh, get it off your desk. Don't walk by the desk that has all the candy and goodies on it. Don't go to that part of the lunchroom that has all the goodies and candies in it because we're not going to have the willpower to not eat it. And of course, just like one of our previous tips, if you're going to have something, have something that you don't normally have. You know, don't just grab one of those Hershey Kisses because they're out all the time. Have something that you don't normally have. Enjoy it and put it away. It will help your success rate a lot. Hey, let's be realistic this time of year, okay? It's the time of the year to have fun. It's the time of the year to enjoy ourselves. It's the time of the year to celebrate, to be thankful. It's the time of the year to see friends and family that we may not normally see. So we're going to slip sometimes. We might have a little more something that we don't normally have. Don't feel guilty. We always like to use the blown tire analogy here. So if you're going down the road and you have four tires on your car and one of the tires blows, you get out and you fix the tire. You don't get out of the car and then pop the other four tires. You fix the tire, right? And then you move on again. So if you do get to an event, you go to a party and you have a little bit more lasagna than you normally have, or if you have some cookies and candies that you don't normally have, it's okay. You're not going to gain weight if you do it one time. Probably not going to gain weight if you do it two or three times over the holidays. Just be aware of it and get back to where you normally eat after the event the next day and enjoy yourself. Enjoy the holiday season. You can get through the holiday season without gaining 
just need to be aware. Just have a little bit of conscientious eating habits. Maybe record some of your foods, show them to your coach or show them to a friend, a little accountability. And I know you can get through these holidays enjoying them without gaining a whole lot of fat. So those are my tips for getting through this holiday season. If you have certainly any questions or if you have a tip, um, post it on the board and we'll get back to you about it or we'll, we'll share that tip because there's a lot of different things you can do this time of the year that can help you to reduce your chances of gaining fat through the holidays. So look for us again next Tuesday about the same time, 3.30, for more insight on how to get fit, feel younger, and live better. Thanks for watching.